Well, I think <laughs> Mother Nature got the memo about starting Fall? to feel a lot like Christmas, <laughs> right? Or holiday yes, season anyway, because exactly. we're after Thanksgiving now. You see yeah. the Christmas lights and everything. And right. It certainly feels a little bit. More it like is really time. blustery outside. Yeah. Yeah. Step outside. Oof. Blustery. I got goosebumps. Yeah. I mean, it's generally cold in the studio, but <laughs> overall, it is cold outside as well for us here in Southern California. Of course, we do want to check in with our weather watchers. We are talking cool conditions all around. Let's get right to it as we check in with our KCAL 9 weather watchers. I want to take you to Bug, Bud Backus, who wrote in from Nguanga a little bit ago, and you will see he was reporting cloudy and windy conditions earlier today. So just a great shot demonstrating the wind conditions. In fact, we do have a wind advisory that's still in effect through 9 o'clock for the high desert and for our local mountains. We also have another wind advisory kicking in for Orange County and the Inland Empire. That's kicking in at 10 p.m. lasting through 2 p.m. tomorrow. So at the moment, wind conditions are looking calm, but if you see the red highlighting on your screen, any of the warmer colors, that corresponds with windy conditions. So the LA County Mountains, the Ventura County Mountains right there. Other than that, we are looking at single digit wind speeds and you'll see right here we've got wind advisories all across the Southland staying in effect through this evening and then continuing to stay in effect through tomorrow. Let's take a look right here. Your future cast showing you windier conditions later tonight. 1130 or so things starting to pick up, especially for the Inland Empire. Early morning hours the Santa Clarita Valley pretty gusty. The Ventura County Mountains and the Ventura County Coastal Plain still quite gusty. And even by tomorrow morning around the commute, still quite gusty. By the afternoon tomorrow, we're talking windy conditions, but the wind advisory is finally expiring by tomorrow afternoon. You will see temperatures currently in the 50s, 52 Ontario as we head to Fullerton, 55, 58 in Santa Ana. Earlier today, we made it to 64 degrees in downtown with average being 70, so we were below average for this time of year. And you will see temperatures tonight falling down to the 40s for the base and even cooler for the mountains in the high desert. That's where we're talking 20s and 30s. So low pressure moving out. That was the system that brought the rain over the weekend. High pressure moving in. We're sandwiched between these two systems, and generally when that happens, we've got what we call a tight pressure gradient. You'll see the isobars coming closer together. That's what that means. So again, windy for now. Then this ridge starts to build. High pressure starts to expand, and as it does, temperatures start to warm up by the end of the week. Let's get a look at that seven-day microclimate forecast right here. You're going to see temperatures generally in the 60s for the rest of the week, but warming up by the weekend to the 70s, even the upper 70s by your Sunday. Sunday. As we get a look at one more seven day microclimate forecast for you for the Inland Empire, the high desert, and the mountains, you'll see 40s, 50s, 60s for the next few days. Then getting a bit cooler and then warming up all over again by the time we hit the weekend. But remember, windy conditions continuing for the mountains, especially by the end of the week as the offshore winds kick in. Jeff and Lena.